Okay guys, sorry for the video quality, but I wanted to do this Debian testing install uh, to uh, real hardware rather than a, a virtual box. So bear with me on the install quality. This should go fairly quick and then I'll boot into the new install and we'll take it from there. So when you see the first screen after booting from your USB, uh, you're going to select graphical install. And then you're going to select your language and you can use, you can use the mouse. Okay. So you'll select your language, your location, keyboard, Now it's pulling files off of the USB and it's going to look for a, it's going to look for a, uh, an ethernet connection or some type of connection to the internet. And I'm going to pause the video and, uh, hook up my ethernet. So this will finish up. Okay, so I've hooked up my Ethernet, and hopefully it is all connected. And if, if you, I would connect your Ethernet cable beforehand, that way you don't have to set this up. So I'm going to uh, set up a host name as uh, Debian 9 and domain name we can leave blank we need to enter a root password full name for new user I'm gonna Say Len. Username is Len and set up a password for the new user. Okay, time zone. Now, I don't need to petition any uh, disk because I have a petition already uh, set up for it. So I'm going to click manual. You have other guided uh, uses, but because I'm installing next to some other Linux installs, I'm just going to click manual. And it's going to be number five. SDA number five. So I'm going to double click it and I'm going to click that line and change it to ext4 and continue. Format. I already formatted it, but I'm going to format it again. Mount point. I'm going to put it as the root file system. I don't need any swap petitions or anything like that. So the rest of it I'm going to leave as default and I'm going to click done setting up the petition. Okay. Now I'm going to, because I don't need a swap, there is a swap petition and right now it wants to use it as swap. So I'm going to double click it and say, do not use the petition and then done. Okay. So now that I've got just my root petition and I'm not going to be using a swap, so I don't have anything dedicated to swap. I'm going to uh, click on finish petitioning and write changes to disk. 
Now it's telling me I don't have a swap. Do you want to return to the petitioning menu? No, because that's the way I want it. The following petitions are going to be formatted. Petition 5 of SDA. Write changes. Make sure everything is correct. Make sure you know exactly where it's supposed to go before you click yes. So now it's formatting the petition and then it should start doing the install. And it's installing the base system. Now this is the uh, smaller size. Uh, it's only 325 megabytes. It's the smaller size uh, CD ISO, not the DVD uh, that has all kinds of uh, programs on it. This is more of a net install, not quite as small as a net install, but it's a relatively small download, 325 megabytes. So it's installing the base system, and then it's going to ask me to select a desktop environment. So now the, it's going to set up the package manager to pull in some files. And of course, I'm in the United States, so I want this FTP US Debian.org. We'll take that. I don't have any proxy. And so now it's going to pull in files. And then it'll come up and ask me to select the desktop environment. Now, this is not quite as easy as uh, other Linux distributions. Debian is, um, specializes in servers, and so their desktop market they consider to be a secondary function, and so that's why you don't see a lot of the polish and a lot of the sophistication of other installers like Ubuntu or like Manjaro so um, I'm not going to participate in the package usage survey, so I'll click, leave that on no, and I'm going to click yes, or continue. So now it's asking me to select a, a desktop environment. It gives me several choices. You can select more than one, actually, but uh, I think I'm just going to go with XFCE and print server and standard system utilities. I don't really need anything else, so I'm going to click continue. And it's going to go th through the installation process. Now there are 1175 files being retrieved. And I'm going to pause the video until this process is finished. Be right back guys. Okay, we're just about done installing the software. And then it'll ask me whether or not, or not I want to install Grub, and I'll go through that with you. And this will just take another few seconds. So now it will ask me where I want to install um, Grub. And since I don't want to mess up my boot uh, or my bootloader, uh, and since Debian doesn't allow you to not install Grub, I'm going to end up installing Grub to the same petition that I installed Linux to, or Debian Linux to. And so I'll show you that should be coming up in a moment. Then I'll be able to, it's going to ask me whether I want to install it to the master boot record or move on or and do it myself. So install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record and I'm going to say no. Now, depending on your situation, you may want to, if you're uh, dual booting with uh, Windows um, and, or you're installing to one full drive rather than a petition, 
you might want to set that up to go to the master boot record. But for me, uh, I'm going to select no, then continue. I'm going to enter the device manually. Now the drive that I used was SDA and the petition was SDA5. So you need to enter that manually and it's going to be DEV slash SDA5. So that's where I installed Debian 2 and that's where I want the uh, grub to be loaded right to the petition. So I'll say continue. And normally it will do that without any hiccups or error messages. It'll just finish up. And this should be done in a matter of seconds. Okay, so now it's finishing the installation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re reboot, once this is done, I'm going to reboot and have um, it boot into my main Linux system and, and at that point I will run OS Prober and update Grub so that the next time I boot up it'll show this Debian installation alongside all of the other installations that I have on that particular drive. So this should be done momentarily and then we will reboot. Okay, so installation is complete. Time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation. So I'm going to remove the USB drive and reboot. Reboot. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, now I'm into my Ubuntu Mate system, which is the controlling system for, um, for my uh, PC. And I'm going to run OS Prober and it's sudo space os dash prober it's going to ask for password normally doesn't take long you see it already found the debian install at sda5 now it's just going to finish up because i do have i think it's six linux distributions on this disk so uh, it won't take long it'll be done and then i'm going to run update grub And that's that's it. Now you can see I have Manjaro, Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, another Ubuntu, and Ubuntu Mate. So I've got three Ubuntu, one Arch, one Manjaro, one Debian. All right, so let's do update grub. And this will probably take just a, 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 around the same amount of time. And once that's done then I will reboot into the Debian install and that's where we'll pick it up okay and that's just about done so now I'm gonna reboot guys and I'll be right back with you we'll, we'll, we'll uh, pick this up in the Debian install be right back okay welcome back guys now this is the desktop as it looks at, right after the install when you boot in um, this is pretty much it now the the graphics the resolution isn't correct at all and that's because my Nvidia graphics card has not been configured yet I have not installed drivers uh, and so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a part two where we will take this desktop from the way it is now to the final configuration the way I usually like to see it once I'm done with an install. So uh, keep your eyes open for the next video. It'll probably be tomorrow. 
and we will uh, make this Debian install, Debian testing install, into something special. So guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.